That's all right. And we are live in five, four, three. Hi, everybody. Welcome to In Your Home three if you've watched the other two episodes thanks so much for sticking with us for number three um and a thing we've been doing is inviting our friends so it's actually uh stinks to not do improv live and face to face but one of the really great things is that now we get to do it with people who are uh, geographically far away so we have two friends uh with us this is philip and emily all the way from south Hello. carolina thanks for making the trip everybody it's so Ooh, nice to be lost it <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate it. We're not paying for a hotel though, so. <laughs> but welcome, uh, welcome. Thanks for coming to do this with us. Thanks for the ask. Yes, thank you for <laughs> inviting us. Why don't you tell us a little oh. bit about Never Decaf? Uh, let's see, we've been going for uh, two years. We actually perform in a coffee house in Greer, South Carolina, downtown. Um, we do shows once a month, family friendly. Uh, when we do festivals, though, we switch it up. We do uh, a combination of long form and short form. So we'll do like a montage and then we'll finish it off with a really fun short form game. And it's not always family friendly then. So <laughs> That's yeah. festivals. That's, uh, festivals. that's festivals. That's festivals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we met Never Decaf at a festival, at the Orlando Comedy Festival. So shout out to yeah. our mutual friend, Matt. Matt, we love Matt you. Jeremy, yeah. yeah, yeah, we love you, Matt. Hopefully, we'll see you. <laughs> there the sign goes. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's very glamorous. Show business is very glamorous. I, I bumped it. Welcome back, everybody. So we're going to play our first game here, and it's World's Worst. All it is is we're going to get some suggestions that you provided to us via our various social medias thank you for that by the way we're going to take your suggestions and we are going to show examples of the world's worst of those suggestions uh the first one is bartender bartender world's worst bartender 
what do you mean on the rocks? <laughs> Here you go, guys. I warmed your bottle up for you. Oh, gross. Oh, oh, did you want this drink? I, I made it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but bitters does not refer to your attitude. Mm, ouch, ouch. Oh, this old fashioned? It's been out for days. <laughs> Great. All right, the next one is Soldier. Soldier. This is the world's worst soldier. Uh, yeah, Tom, uh, why, don't, why don't you go ahead and go out first? <laughs> I have bone spurs. It's a spur on your bone, so I, I can't. I'm sorry. So I throw the pen? <laughs> It's <laughs> awful. Yeah, so I've got like uh, 15 of those meals in my pack. They're real good. Have you tried them? <laughs> so good. <laughs> They're terrible. They're so terrible. Bus driver. Bus driver. World's worst bus driver. Uh, hey, Siri, can you tell me where I'm going? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just gonna put a movie on for everybody. Um, I've seen, you know, I've seen Monsters Inc. a lot. So we're gonna do another one. Um, and I'll just let you guys know when the good parts are coming so you can pay attention. <laughs> oh my God, guys, you see my five friends on Instagram? You wanna... <laughs> Yo, we're gonna have to take a detour. I haven't seen my sister in a minute. So it's just like 30 minutes out of the way, but you guys can see Stay on and then wait on the bus. <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl. I'm here on my bus. Everybody say hi. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just gonna drive the bus today and I'll totally show you what goes crazy at Only in Dade. Yeah, anybody here over 21, I just got my permit. <laughs> just got it. All right, we're gonna stop that one there. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do, uh, Senator. Senator. World's worst senator. I'm Lindsey Graham. I'm from South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a South Carolina joke. <laughs> yes, uh, I second that emotion. <laughs> if, uh, if your name is Lindsey, why are you a dude? <laughs> All right, we're going to stop it there. That was good. That was fantastic. What, Allie, you have another one? Are you like Graham, like the Graham crackers? Did you invent those crackers? Okay, we're done here. I like your <laughs> crackers, man. They're good. You can't make s'mores without them. They're good crackers. Yeah. All right, thank you, everybody. That was World's Worst. Here we go. On to the next one. So one thing that has really helped me get through quarantine and get through the day is being present in the moment and working on meditation. So we're actually gonna do a little guided meditation session for you between Brooke and Shar, um, except that Brooke is only gonna be allowed to read from a book of Sam Shepard plays. I don't know if you can see it there. So she's gonna turn the page and I will tell her to stop. Stop. Okay. So Brooke is only allowed to respond from words that she sees on the page uh, right here. And this is a virtual meditation. Thanks for coming with me, Brooke. Don't get too I'm kinda, close. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of nervous. It's like my first time doing this. And like, I know that you do it like all the time. So you feel kind of sick. You know, I feel like if you do it, like it's normal. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be hippie, but like. Wouldn't you rather be on the bed? Oh, okay. I thought those were like reserved, but, but okay. Yeah, no. Well, let's okay. Let's let's move over there. Let's. Just, okay. I'll, I'll be right here. I'm, oh, oh, I'm oh. numb. Oh well, I'll wait with you. I mean, we can go together. Y you know, because I I thought this was a friend thing. That's embarrassing. No, no. What? Okay, feel, we're just meditate. We're just meditating. Don't don't, don't don't feel a thing. Feels good to be numb. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. Uh, I, I thought that I, I'm just trying to calm my thoughts, just like, you know, just like Vicks Vapo Rub, but like for my whole personality. We you know, don't like, have to sell, you know. 
well, well no, I mean, I, I bought the vapor rub and quite frankly, now that I'm thinking about it, it's really more invigorating than anything else. Uh, but no, we're not selling. We don't need to. Yeah. We can talk business later. We don't, it's not. We could, we could fix the place up. You know, it is a little eclectic for my taste. Um, but I thought it was like the whole, you know, just like with the aromas and then like, you know, the sandalwood and the peppermint and then like what's oh, with the mango. It's, it's, oh, it's not too late for that. It, it's not. No, no, it isn't. I owe you, money. Like Febreze? Okay, okay. Oh my God. Is I that why a, we're here? I could get a job. At, at the meditation clinic? You're going to have to. Yay! <laughs> that was our virtual meditation. That was so funny. Thank you. <laughs> On to the next one. All right, folks, we come to our next game. It was a game that we debuted on our last episode of In Your Home, and we liked it so much, we brought it back for this episode of In Your Home, and it's called Wrong Answers Only. I'm going to show you a clip here on my green screen, and you guys have to give me wrong answers only. So I'm going to move out of the way here, and the first images for wrong answers only is this uh, that is uh 50 shades of blue right there <laughs> uh that is the money i mm. uh, remember this part uh that's little house on the prairie the third book the cover <laughs> uh this is the moment that debbie met dallas <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to move on from that one. All right. Uh, what is the name of this movie? Wrong answers only. Teenage angst. Mm. <laughs> that actually sounds right. I got stuck in an emo drum. <laughs> All up in this club. <laughs> Break dancing for beginners. Put loose in 2020. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> Next one. Some of you might remember this one, but why want wrong answers only? The original leg lamp. Oh! <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> A Christmas story gone wrong. <laughs> this is clearly Ghostbusters. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one is this one. <laughs> Wrong answers only. Oh my god, I'm falling! <laughs> Why are you yelling everything? <laughs> Making the band two. <laughs> Legally Blonde three. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, this is the Pink Panther part 20. <laughs> Blondes prefer billionaires. <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could say that for pretty much anything yeah. and it'll work. Okay, here we go. Wrong answers only. Stetson Man, the lifetime story. Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> yep, that oh. is correct. <laughs> Good job. All right, that was it for that game. That's it. We're done. And on to the next. All right, folks, we're on to our next game here, and it's going to be a little bit of a guessing game. And Allie is playing the head of HR. Hi, Allie. Everybody Hi. Say, everybody say bye, Allie, as I drop her into our waiting room where she can no longer hear us or see us. Philip and Emily are playing along with me, and I'm going to give us our suggestions right now. So we're calling HR, but we're all working from home. So based on the suggestions that I got online from our wonderful followers, um, let's go with uh, Emily. Your complaint is gonna be that your breakfast bacon is not crispy enough. Ah. Or as close as we can get her to guess that. Okay. Bacon is not crispy enough. <clears throat> bacon not crispy enough, okay. Okay. Um, Philip. Yours is going to be 
that uh, your door hinge is squeaky. You have got a squeaky door hinge. That oh, is your geez. complaint. Yeah. Squeaky. squeaky door hinge. And mine is going to be, uh, I've got a bottle cap that I just can't open. Okay. So let's go over it again. Uh, Emily, what do you have? My bacon is not crispy enough. Correct. Uh, Philip, what do you have? A squeaky door hinge. A squeaky door hinge. And I have a bottle cap that just will not open. Great. So you've got those three suggestions, and we're going to bring Allie back into the game. All right, Allie, uh, you're back in from HR. Go ahead and take it. Hi, Dash. Thanks for being on time for our meeting. I really appreciate it. You're, you're very so welcome. So I just want you to know that even though we are in this remote environment, I'm still here for you. I'm here to support you. You know, I'm here to listen to your concerns mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll be sure to take good notes and send them to corporate. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. I just, um, I, I didn't know where else to turn. I've, uh, sure. I just, I've put up with this so much and, and I just, mm -hmm. I'm so thirsty. I just, I, thirsty. I am. And I, I can't. Thirsty like you seek hydration or thirsty like the kids are saying it. No, thirsty is in I seek hydration. And okay. honestly, sure. this this whole mm -hmm. thing, I haven't been able to go out and do groceries. So mm -hmm. I just, I, I have just the one left and it's, uh, I, I can't even, it's, my hands are raw so from are trying. You, are you just rationing it at this point? I would love to ration it. I, I was thinking mm -hmm. maybe I should just have a third, right? Instead of the whole thing, but I can't, I can't even, I can't even have the third because you can't it, I, have a third. I can't because it's just, it's impossible. It feels like sometimes. Right. Right. So you're thirsty. You only have one left. You're rationing. Mm -hmm. Okay. How's that? How's that making you feel? How can I step in to help you? I wish you could be here to help. It's just, I think it's, it feels like I'm not strong enough. It feels like I'm kind of weak. I right. feel helpless. And like I you can't I, open it all, it all on your own? Right. Right. Because I'm just, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a single guy. Right. Mm -hmm. And if I can't do something, it's not like I have a partner I can hand it off to. Right. And it's almost like it sits there mocking me with, mm -hmm. with its jagged edges. And just like, here, try to open me, but I'm going to cut up your fingers. Right. Right. So... So you you only have one and you're you're not opening it because you're afraid. I, I at this point it's fear. You're gonna get hurt. Right at, at this, this point at this fear. point it's fear because you can try and try and try, but it's it's you know, I wish somebody else could take a turn at it, but it's just me. You it's know, just you. And after so a while, you have to like. Take it digs in all your hands. All the turns. Uh-huh. You have to take right. all the turns when you're right. trying to open it. Yeah, because it's a twist. It's not a pop. Got it. Okay. Right. right. So it's a twist cap. Yes. 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 On a, on a beer. Yeah. 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 Yes. It's it's a bottle cap that I just can't get off. Uh-huh. And it's just driving me insane. So you can't you can't get the bottle cap off no, of I your cannot. beverage. It just will not come off. And you would like you would like for me to report that to corporate? Yes, please. I just need you to put it down somewhere because if I'm late or something, I want it on the record that okay. that I tried. That you, know? you tried to open a bottle cap and you couldn't. I I will send that. I will send that today. But you know what? I've got another meeting. I've got to okay. get to. You know, Emily is. She's got some stuff she she wants to talk about too. I probably just wrote confidentiality. Don't tell her I said that. I understand. So, Thank you so much for sharing your concerns with me. Thank I appreciate you for it. Listening. Thank I you. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Of course. Of course. These people. These people. Hi. Hi. So good to see your face. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I know I'm presenting myself as, as fine, but I just, I got to tell you, I am sizzling with frustration. It's, you know what? We're all very stressed in this environment. We're all very stressed. It's okay. I'm here for you. I'm here to support you. Oh. I'm going to take good notes and I'm going to pass it on and we'll, we'll deal with it. Okay. 
So okay. you're sizzling. Why are you I sizzling? Sizzling. Like I cannot start my day without this necessity. Do you understand? Sure, of course. I gotta have my tea every morning. Mm -hmm. I gotta have my green tea every morning. You know, if I don't, right. I am just a monster. I just know. A monster. I know. Well, just like your green tea and people's coffee and all that and mm -hmm. eggs and and fruit and and all that this goes well with all of those things and right. it's just been so flimsy lately i mean i've tried the regular i've tried the turkey version i've even tried the you no tried it version. have you tried it in the microwave <gasps> microwave Really? Now, if you're struggling to get your bacon nice and crispy, you know what, I, I will pass this on. Okay, okay, so you can get some more advice. But my advice to you yeah. is it's two minutes for every strip. You just put it right in the microwave. So if you only want four strips of bacon, you just yeah. do it for two times four minutes, which I think is eight. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in HR, not accounting. Right. And then you just, you have your crisp bacon in the morning with your tea and your toast. Wow. But yeah. you are, you're right on point. Thank you so much. Thank you for meeting with me. You know what? I am here for you. I'm so happy I could help you today. I'm so happy. Do you want me to pass this on to corporate or are you good? Sure, if you'd like. <laughs> Great, I will, I will pass it on. Thank you so much, Emily. You're welcome. Bacon. All right. Oh, hi, Philip. you're looking different. Did you give yourself a little quarantine hairdo? I, I can't get it cut. It's just growing wild. It looks great. Oh, it really oh, looks great. Thank, so thank you. What What do you want to talk about today? I'm here for you. I'm here to support you. It's getting louder by the day. Louder by the day, is it? It, it, it was okay at first. Mm -hmm. Just just little. Every time I go to my office, it's there. Just louder and louder every time, huh? Yeah. Every time I kick it in step right through yeah very loud high pitch demon really well that sounds like a very stressful situation have you tried breathing when it happens taking some deep breaths <laughs> that, that's helping it's help good that's good <sighs> you gotta keep on breathing yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah so what else? What else is going on? It's getting Everything louder else. every day, you said? But it's only every time I go in and out of the office at my house. Every, anywhere else, it's fine. Anywhere else, it's fine. Okay. It's like I've I got go it. and I open and there it is. Yeah. Right. Now, it's interesting that you would have one in your office and not your whole home. No, I'd have them in my whole home. It's just the office ones that are being loud. Oh, is it because that's where the most expensive equipment is? No, it's probably because it needs oil. Got it. Okay. And maintenance is off. Okay. So maintenance isn't there to put some oil on those hinges? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so... I'm not sure that's something that the company can help you with. That seems like maybe your landlord would need would need uh -huh. to be contacted, but I'm happy to pass on that your hinges are not functioning, that your hinges are getting louder and louder in your office. I'm happy they're to pass make, that on. They're, they're making that noise. They're screeching. Close your hinges enough. are screeching. Yeah. There's So I need to call I need to call the manager of the building i mean that's what i would do if i were you i'm happy to pass your concerns on to corporate if if that's what you would like but i feel like you could maybe have them taken care of you know on your own like a big oh. boy okay yeah. I'll, I'll try I'll, I'll call right now 
Thank you. I hope you're well, okay? Thank you, you helped me out a lot. I do, I do, that's what I'm here for. I do my best. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. They do not pay me enough. On to the next one! Hi everybody, so we asked for some topics that you might need some advice about during this time, and I assembled three experts who are gonna give you some good advice, some bad advice, and some downright ugly advice on your burning queries. So our first question from um, our social media was, how can I get my economic stimulus check faster? Brooke, good advice. Uh, how can I get uh, the stimulus check faster? Well, there is a website that the federal government and the IRS has put out so you can check that patiently. I would meditate every day check that status and uh, there are a lot of other grants and um, other things you, you should just research and do as much as you possibly can and this time of need so just be, be patient deep mm. breaths it's coming i love that mm. i love that char with some bad advice uh yeah i was actually you know i was taking a kind of a different direction i think meditation is, is a good idea but it's uh, about as useful as thoughts and prayers um, in terms of getting your stimul stimulus check. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say you're gonna probably wanna be pretty vocal about it. I would say tell as many people as you can because when it comes to problems that we're having right now in this time, they are unique to you and everybody deserves to hear your voice, your unique concerns and your unique needs right now. And I would say, Amazon yourself a megaphone and shout it from the rooftop. I love that. Would you also recommend a, like a YouTube and Twitter presence? Oh, absolutely. That's Great. implied with all of my advice is definitely Excellent. get on there, hate on the people that differ with your opinions and, and yes. just make it known, make it known. Great. Excellent. And Emily, uh, some ugly advice. How do I get my stimulus check faster? You just take a look at your neighbors and see if they're all of a sudden getting an influx of Amazon packages. Then you go over there and you steal whatever you can. There you go. You don't need a stimulus yeah. check if you're stealing. Exactly. That's there genius. It's genius. I knew I assembled the right experts. Thank you all so much. I've got a couple more questions if you have time. Um, so here's a great one. I've gotten used to taking naps midday while in quarantine. What do I do once I go back to work and I can no longer take midday naps? Brooke, good advice. The day naps, taking the day naps at work. Well, I feel that everyone gets a break at work, correct? Correct? Everyone deserves that. That is your right. So take a bit of that, even if it is 15 minutes, 20 minutes is actually really good for a light nap. Uh, you know, I like I say, meditate, get a little blindfold, find a peaceful spot in your workplace, even if it has to be in your car, find that spot uh, wherever it needs to be and take that break, take that nap, because that's the only way to build up the immune system is to actually take naps. Everyone does need uh, naps in this time. So continue to take it, but just in a more scheduled fashion, maybe only 15 minutes. I love that. Love that. Char, some bad advice? Yeah, you know, I got to tell you, um, I'm a little concerned right off the bat that we're having to call them day naps. Um, I've just been calling night naps, sleeping up until now, which already says that maybe you're on the wrong path. So number one, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get, you're gonna Amazon yourself a podium and you're gonna wanna make sure that everybody in your office is aware of the different types of naps, all right? Cause you're focusing on the day nap and when you get in there and you're just taking your day naps and you say, I'm sorry, Mr. CEO, but I have to go, it's time for my day nap. And then you take one right there on the floor of his office. Then that, I mean, that, is all only valid if it is precedented by just speeches about naps. So go ahead and get that. Try to get a bundle package that comes with the microphone, maybe like a banner you can put in front with your face and name on it. 
go crazy. I love what you're saying because so much in life starts with just simple education. You know, uh, day education, education, particularly. Day education, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. And Emily with some ugly advice about day naps. Ah, uh, well, you know, if, you're, if your boss isn't compliant, then you just quit, go on, un, on uh, unemployment and continue with your naps. There you go. So there are options. Absolutely. There are options for everyone. You just have to decide what it is that you want to do. Yeah. I love it. So one final question, one final question. Thank you all so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. We're really helping people here. I can feel it. Okay. Um, so the last question is, I need advice on scissors. I cut my own bangs and it did not go well. Brooke, good advice. Uh, advice on the scissors or advice on the haircut? I'm going to go with the haircut. Okay. So uh, don't use scissors anymore unless you're fully trained, but let it grow out. Okay. Accept yourself. Okay. This is the time to just be who you are guys. Be who you are. Accept it. Let it grow out. Go to the hairdresser in a few months. You'll be okay. Yeah. I love that. Just embrace who you are. You know, as Madonna said, express yourself. I love that. Uh, Char, some bad advice. Uh, Self-acceptance is, is a great idea in theory. Uh, But in reality, it seems that your situation is that you were getting your bang cutting advice and your scissor purchasing advice from YouTube videos of other teenage girls doing the same thing. What I like to do is I like to get my advice from virtual improv videos. Now, this is where it's at. You get a variety of opinions. You get a lot of just like truthful, forward thinking information, different perspectives. I think that's what you need. You need to Amazon yourself a computer. You need to Amazon yourself probably a few more things and then start start watching these advice videos. They're amazing. And that's that's what'll get you back on track. Before you know it, you won't even know about your bangs. You'll have all new problems. So (laughs) improv advice videos solve so many problems and yet create others. So it's a beautiful kind of circle of life sort of scenario. And Emily, scissors and bad haircuts. Give us some ugly advice. No scissors, Uh, razors, shave it all off. Don't have to worry about it for at least a couple of months. Best way to fix a bad haircut is to remove all of your hair. It's, it's very easy. It's very easy. So thank you all so much for submitting your, uh, your questions, you know, for being vulnerable with us and asking for advice. Also, this, uh, was sponsored by Amazon. So if you want to send us some of that Amazon money, um, we're at society circus on Instagram. Thanks. On to the next one. All right, so one of my favorite parts about quarantine has been really having the chance to connect with people and kind of just reach out and start dating a little. Um, So I've been trying online dating for the first time Um, and I was a little nervous at first, but I feel like I've been checking out some cool profiles and I'm excited to just meet a few of my favorite guys today. Um, And we can just, uh, and I'm just gonna, talk to them in person, weed them out, and see what I think. So let's see. Let's see who we've got. Hey, I'm Azriel. Hi. Hi, Azriel. Hi. Is that, is that, I'm, wow. Is I'm that the Prince of Darkness. As as oh. Oh, so would I be the Princess of Darkness? If, if you play your cards right. Oh. Oh, wow. That is real cool. I'm sorry I made a pun out of your name. I get nervous. Okay, who, who else do we have? That was fun. Like a Palpatine vibe. Oh, hi. Oh, hello there. Um, my name is uh, Rudolph Valentino. Um, oh, wow. It's so Rudolph. lovely to finally see you live and in person. <laughs> oh, I, um, I actually like to, uh, uh, I refurbish uh, figurines. Uh, so uh, think of me as the one to take your heart and make it new again. 
<laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Rudolph. <laughs> I hope to see you soon. Oh, oh, absolutely. Let's see who else we've got. Hi. Hi, my name is Chad. Hi, uh, hi, Chad. I'm a, I'm a high school wrestling champion. Okay. And oh, 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 that's that's great. That's yeah. Great, Chad. Yeah. I'm a I'm a you know I'm really famous in my hometown uh, for oh. winning the high school wrestling. It's the only championship my high school has ever brought in. Go Gators! Oh, oh, wow! You're from you're from Florida. No. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, uh, what is your hometown? Kalamazoo, Michigan. Oh, wow, that, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, sorry, could you tell me your name again? Chad, my name is Chad. Chad, Chad. Chad. and you're- It's such and, a pleasure. you graduated from high school, right? Yes, yes, I graduated uh, about 20 years ago, and, um, and this is my greatest achievement right here. Um, I, I never go anywhere without it because it's, it's almost like a conversation starter, you know? Okay, so you just carry that around. That all, yeah, like. everywhere. I, put, I keep it in my car and my passenger okay. seat. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I mean, since you've got that to keep you company, uh -huh. um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be back in, in, in a little okay. bit. Okay. Um, I, I think I I, uh, I would like to speak to Rudolph again really quick. Ah. Let's let's see if Rudolph is available. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh hello, Rudolph. Um, hi. Oh, hi. I, you know, I got to tell you, I was so intrigued by your your figurine polishing, was it? Refurbishing. Re figurines. Refurbishing. Yes. Any wow. great treasure, any great treasure that once was lost, I refurbished. This one is, um, I called her Lily. Um, and I'm just patiently, lovingly working on her. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're you're refurbishing your own figurines then? Oh, any figurine. Mine. Yours, lost figurines, cherished oh. figurines. Oh, all right. Oh, okay, all right. Well, uh, it's great to talk to you again. I think I'm, I'm gonna maybe well, check check out a check out a new a new bachelor real quick. I'll see you later, and then and I'll and I'll get back to you. Thanks, Rudolph. Hi. Oh, hi. My name is. Hi. Dad. Wow. And, I'm sorry, uh, what was your name? Dan? Death. If you want to call oh. me Dan, that's fine, but my real death. name is Death. Death. Okay. Death. No, I'm I'm here for it, Death. What what can I thank you for for being here? Well, I just, you know, I was kinda lonely and people told me, go to a, a speed dating thing and uh don't forget okay. to liven up, so uh I wore this bow tie. Well, that is a funky, fresh bow tie. I'll give you that, uh, Death Dan. Yeah. Um, okay, I well. I really got a cat. Oh, cool. What's the cat's name? Uh, meow Meow. Oh, that's clever. Um, would you excuse me, Death Dan, for, for just a second? I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet my next bachelor. Sure. Hi, my, my, my name is Jake, and, and I, I, I want to play uh, lovely music for you. I, I know three chords. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Jake. Can, can I hear one? Uh, uh. That's well, one chord. That's very good. That's very good. Thank you. But you played it three times, so it's three times as good. Oh. Thank you. I, I just hope I can play more for you at some point. Oh, oh my gosh, absolutely. Maybe not right this second, because uh, I, I do, I just need to touch base with a, with a, Azrael. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, so I, I will be right, I'll be right back. Hi. Hi. Hi, um, I know this is, this is gonna be real awkward, um, but I've been watching you and uh, I saw that you talked to Death. Um, I was just wondering if you if you guys are like 
uptight or you're like open to seeing other people or whatever because i was like really into that i i just i do have a thing for black hoods uh and so i just want to be like honest like just coming right into this right I, I just i loved the whole like palpatine vibe that you had um and then meeting death was like like a fun street name was a of Dan, which is like, you know, easy to get along with. And then there's death and, and, and you know, he had like a face thing as well. I think well. the three of us could really make something happen, you know? Oh yeah. So De like, death, I, are you? I, yeah, death? I would be into that. Hey there. Okay. Hey. 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 hey, death. Hey. How you been? Um, you oh, you know, just uh, same old, same old. Yeah. Oh my God. You guys, should I, should I, like, should I do it? You know what, I think, uh, Death, you want to get out of here? You want to go, like, uh, okay. you know. Well, you can right do out of here. Uh, I'll do the, uh, the taking of souls. Yeah. And, uh, no, no. uh, Shar Shar, uh, I'll see you later. Much, oh, okay. much later. Oh, well, that's yeah, good. Let's, let's get out of here. Okay. All right. Uh, well, that that went that went well. Um, you know, that's okay. That's okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get my uh, figurines polished. Um, it, Rudolph, are you are you still there? A uh hug. -huh. Can I hear my love calling me? Uh, uh, hi, hi. Uh, I, I was just I was just wondering if um, maybe you would want. I just had a really hard time just now and I don't I don't know how to do this and 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 in two hoodies just I just want to feel safe right now and I I will hold would you, you please refurbish my figurines I would be honored to yes <laughs> okay um thank you so much we could we could watch Shavit together on on HBO we could just like you know, we just one, two, three, play, and then we like look at each other and laugh. Do you want to do that? I, I would love to. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll see you tonight at eight. Um, eight sounds great. Okay. I'm cool. See you soon, Rudolph. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. Well, I think I found my soulmate. On to the next. Now, wasn't that great? That was such an awesome game. Good job, Shar, on finding uh, the love of your life there. <laughs> I feel good about it. I feel good about it. Awesome. So we're going to move on to our next piece here. And our next piece is yet another one that debuted at our last uh, In Your Home show. And uh, we loved it so much. Again, we brought it back here. And it's called Caption This. I'm going to put a picture here on the green screen. And our wonderful improvisers are going to have to caption it. So, OK, everybody. Your first image is Jesus saves. <laughs> Nemo, I pray for you. <laughs> Bahamian baptism. <laughs> awesome. All right, we're going to our next image, and it is caption this. <laughs> they meant health food, but I don't think this is what they meant. My mom used to call this eat your trees. <laughs> Food safety in the time of COVID. <laughs> don't, don't touch your faces, guys. All right, here we go. And our next image is. Oh. You Lady, you're so pretty. <laughs> Fantastic. Will you meowy me? Oh, <laughs> your love gives me pause. <laughs> you look so handsome with all those whiskers. Aww. All right. Okay, here we go. Our next image is Conspiracy Theorists 2020. <laughs> Learning by Osmosis. <laughs> Homeschool Quarantine Edition. <laughs> and the earth is flat too. 
The Zoom Elementary School production of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I wore my goggles because I'm swimming in knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> the future's so bright. All right, here we go. Caption this. Uh, I'm paleo. If it's not a giant broccoli, I don't want it. In this day and age, I am social distancing myself away from health food. Thank you. <laughs> hey, don't. <laughs> Here we go. Rocky Horror. No. Oh, that's Rocky Cap Horror. Oh. Caption this. <laughs> <laughs> What is this Halloween costume again? I just don't get it. <laughs> I'm ready, Mr. Gray. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop that one there. Let's, uh, I've got, I think I have one more. Caption this. I'm sorry, I'm a really bad photographer, Jenny. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Home Alone, the Great Depression era. <laughs> All right, we're gonna end it there. <laughs> All right, that's no, it for I caption. I have to like look so closely to even see what it is, and I'm like, <laughs> well, you got it. Bad picture. That's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it for caption this, and on to the next game. All right, so for our next game, we're gonna play bad pickup lines. Um, so this should be really great for just getting us back into the bar scene when quarantine is over. Um, I think we should call it good pickup lines because most of them are very, very effective. So I do have some <laughs> suggestions that we got earlier from social media. So we're going to use those. Um, so are you guys ready? Ready. Ready. Awesome. That was a trick question because I was going to start either way. All right. <laughs> okay. Our first Perfect. word for bad pickup lines is scientist. Scientist. Hey baby, how'd you like to come over to my place and test my tube? Say <laughs> <laughs> they're working already. Hey, I couldn't help but notice that you and I have some uh, chemistry. Hey boy, I've been observing you all night and I think I got you analyzed. Is that a Bunsen burner in your pocket or are you happy to see me? <laughs> All right, all right. The next one for bad pickup lines is dog collar. It's awesome you got your rabies shot. That's really important. <laughs> do you uh, do you like it adjustable or form fitting? I'm a dog walker by day, but uh, I can board you at night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the next one for bad pickup line pickup lines is Twinkie. Hey boy, just wondering if uh, you like it stuffed. <laughs> hey baby, if you come home with me, I <laughs> promise you I won't expire anytime soon. <laughs> uh, so uh, I, I heard uh, you could survive the apocalypse and I uh, want to survive <laughs> it together. So I hear you can fit two of these in your mouth. <laughs> All right, and the next word, pizza. Bad pickup lines, pizza. Hey girl, I was just wondering, are you loaded? <laughs> hey girl, you can uh, ring my doorbell anytime and I'll give you a big old tip. <laughs> <laughs> Damn girl, you so hot, can I get a slice of that? Oh. <laughs> Hmm. All right, Dash. Hope you like your guys how you like your pizza. Thick. Okay, thought we were going to go with cheesy there. Love where you <laughs> took it anyway. We're going to move on to the next one and the last one, even though this is the best. The last one is tablet. I keep a charge all night. <laughs> hey there, sweetheart. I wouldn't mind putting my fingerprints all over you. 
Here's the thing. I can go horizontal or vertical. I just rotate really easily. <laughs> oh, there we go. And that was Sad Pickup Live. That was fantastic. Mm. <laughs> All right, everyone, that was our show. Thank you for joining us. That was so awesome. Let's thank you very much to our guests, Philip and Emily. How you doing, guys? Uh, thank, thank you thank for you having to, us. Uh, Char, yes. Brooke, and Allie, our Society Circus players who came and joined us today and played this game with us. This was uh, In Your House 3. Um, Philip, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the... Never decap. No, improv. no. I'm going to say you need to go check out this page called Improv Separately Together, where this guy Dash did an interview this week. Yeah. Emily's done an interview, and uh, we'll take anybody. Yeah. That sound nerdy enough? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that another pickup cool. line. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Improv, let, improv let, separately together, right? Yes, and then I'll let Emily uh, pimp us out. Okay, all right, yeah, uh, we're never decaf. Uh, so if you're ever uh, in um, uh, Greenville or, or, or Greer, you know, check us out. We do, we perform once a month, or at least, you know, whenever this uh, um, quarantine business uh, gets back to normal, if there is a normal, uh, a new normal. Um, so check us out at Stopping Grounds Coffee House. And um, also check out our Instagram and our Facebook. Like them both. Awesome. And uh, for Society Circus players, we normally perform once a month at Duffy's Tavern in Miami. And uh, once this whole COVID-19 thing is over, we will definitely be back there. And by the way, they're still open for takeout. And uh, Yo, that schnitzel pickup. is fire, though. That schnitzel is Oh, their schnitzel fire. and their loaded fries are amazing. Yeah, their food is good, and they have a great beer selection, if that's your thing. Um, so that's, that's Duffy, solid water, if Duffy's that's your tavern. thing. Yeah. <laughs> The original Duffy's Tavern in West Miami. Definitely go check them out. So uh, otherwise, you can check us out on our Instagram and our Facebook. Our links will be at the end of this video. It'll be up for a little bit, so you can catch that there. Guys, thank you for watching us. This has been so much fun. And this has been In Your House 3, In Your Home 3, because In Your House is copywritten. Thanks thank for allowing so us in your home, everybody. Yeah, this has in been your In home. Your Home your 3. Home. Your home. Bye. Bye. Bye.